not, but guess who's coming up right behind him? Yeah. His brother. He has a brother? His brother's playing quarterback, and he's going to Alabama. How do you know? I saw it on the, or the SEC network. Shout out SEC sponsor. Okay, just because he's his brother doesn't mean he's as good as Tua. He's made the same decisions. I don't know. It, they showed his high school highlights from Friday night's game, and he put up like three touchdowns. Uh, high school is like thing. What? It's football. Three touchdowns from the air is still very good. Because he's a high school kid too. The quarterback that I played high school with, he put up like six, and he's like, I mean, he's going D one, but. <laughs> But he's not going to Alabama. Okay. How big is he? I don't know. Probably what, 6'1", 6'2". Okay. He's a dual threat. He's going to K-State at Chris Heron. Shout out. Chris Shout Heron. out at Chris Heron. Shout out one time. It's my cousin. What, really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're just a privileged little white kid, aren't you? Well, he's black. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is he, then. Um... Yeah, so we can all agree that Tua is the best country, best player in the country. Move into hot takes. And since we added an NFL section in this, Rookie of the Year. I have to say, Saquon Barkley. Yep, you're right. <laughs> you're right, I love it. Uh, and he can, <laughs> the, the, only, the only competitor he has is, what, Baker Mayfield? And well, Baker hasn't got started. Darnold, maybe. No, 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 no. Josh Allen out there hurtling people. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. And he, like, like landed on his feet, too. Most of the time, they don't really, like, land. Well, I mean, he kind of landed forward and got hit on his way down. But no, he got hit, like, out of bounds. He still ran, no, like, four yards. Uh, I'm thinking of a different hurdle now. Yeah. What team does he play for? The Buffalo Bills. No, thinking of a different player. Mm-hmm. There was one today... Uh, guy from the Rams like hurdled some kid and like ran for like an extra 10 yards and then got hit out of bounds. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Saquon takes it if if he stays healthy. Um, yeah, Saquon. Yeah, Saquon Barkley. Saquon. Uh, MVP. Patrick Mahomes. You sticking with Mahomes. Yes, sir, unless Fitz Magic. Oh, no, but J.J. Watt is on track for 16 sacks, so he's the MVP. Well, there's some people that are on track for 30 sacks. It's his brother, TJ Watt. TJ Watt's on track for 30? No, nah, I don't know. He's had a good He's been doing good, though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, my MVP so far... Saquon Barkley. No, nah, I'm going to go Jared Goff. <laughs> if you could see my face right now, you'd be in complete, utter disbelief. Why are you against Jared Goff winning the MVP? Because there's better options out there. Who? Better options. Who? He has. You know what MVP means? Yeah, most valuable most player, valuable player yeah. to the team. Mm-hmm. You take Jared Goff away from the Rams, they're still an amazing team. So you think he's? But if no, but that's the, yeah, but but the but Rams like the, are all good. You take, take exactly. You take Todd like, Gurley away from that team, and they're still a great. Exactly. Team. That's so you're helping my point. You take Jared Goff away. That team's still good. No, I'm not helping your point. I'm yes. saying because you could say that Todd Gurley's going to win MVP. You could. Just because you take him away from a team and they're still good doesn't mean that he's not the most valuable player. But Todd Gurley is more of that team than Jared Goff is. Um, if you took Todd Gurley off that team, production would go down. Yes, they still have good wide receivers, but... No, you have to have a good quarterback with a good running back, though. But Jared Goff's not a good quarterback. Yes, he is. No, he's, he's not. a great quarterback. No, he's not. Jared Goff. He's a good quarterback. He's a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. Yo, you want to see his numbers today? I'm about to a show you the quarterback. quarterback. Thirty. Whoa. Excuse me. I almost read that. Uh, that's the score. Three hundred and fifty-four yards, three touchdowns today. Okay. Okay. That's not the greatest performance of the week as far as quarterbacks go. But he's been doing that consistently. This is week three. He's giving me over 20 points each week in, in fantasy. Okay, well, I'm talking about fantasy. No, I'm st- you, okay. you understand what fantasy is? They take real-life stats and apply them to a point system. So if he's giving me 20-something points a game per week on fantasy, the stats must reflect so. Oh, so I can say J.J. Watt was the MVP because he's... He got so many stats. No, you can't because he he's not stats. consistent. 
There are people. He hasn't been consistent. Patrick Mahomes has been more consistent than him. Yes. Then Drew Brees has been more consistent than him. Yes. You're correct. Then why? How is Jared Goff better than either of them? I'm just trying to mix it up. Jared Goff. But you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Who could I be the MVP? Argue, this is a hot take. I would rather you understand you, what a hot take is. I would rather you argue Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm, because well, without Fitzpatrick, Tampa Bay would be nothing. Well, that that's actually that's not really how the MVPs work. What? what then how does it work? Whoever plays the best, and that's including your team. Like, yeah, if your team's sure. winning, you have a better chance of winning too. Yeah. Like, who won the MVP last year? Do we even know who won the MVP? Someone Todd Gurley did. Todd he, Gurley he won, won MVP. offensive MVP. No, he won MVP. Really? Okay. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Mm-hmm. If he didn't get hurt, he would have been MVP. He been, but he would have been rookie of the year. No. Yeah. He would have been MVP. Yeah. Alvin Kamara would have been rookie of the year. He would have been MVP. He was putting up MVP numbers, but his team wasn't doing well. When he got hurt, his team was three and three. But well, didn't Alvin Kamara MVP. did win rookie of the year? Who won it rookie of the year last year? I don't say Kamara. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we don't have to fact check that. The point is, the point of a hot take is to it's not to mix it up. It's, it's your projections uh, of right now. Okay, but okay. How listen. can you say somebody? On somebody's team, when there's somebody who's better than him on that. No, same that's team. not what that. No, that's what George is saying. That's not how they choose the MVP. A little, a, a little bit has to do with how good the team's doing as well. But how? It's like the Heisman. Uh, if your team doesn't win a game and you put up 600 points through the air every game, you're not winning the Heisman. Well, the Heisman's different. I'm saying it's not. Yeah, it is. I'm saying it's not. Yeah, what, it is. What's the Heisman mean to, to college football? Is it not the most valuable player? In college football? No. What is it, then? This person knows the best stats. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're the most valuable to the team. Okay, how do you define valuable, J. J. How do you define valuable, J.J. Watt, what, two, three years ago? He was in the running for MVP. Because he was helping his team out that much. He's a two-time defensive MVP because he's putting up that much good stats. But his team wasn't any better than... They didn't go to the Super Bowl. They didn't do anything. Okay, but that's not the MVP. That's de- that's as a defense. That's as a defense. That's different. We're talking about the MVP. What does v- most valuable person mean to you? Person who puts up the best stats. Yep. Um. Good that and that reflects in the locker room, too. What do you mean it reflects in the locker? It's most valuable to that team. Team team leadership. It's part of it. Hey, if you're if you're with, with look look at the NBA, who won the MVP last year? I don't know. I James don't... Harden did. You know, want to know who had better stats than James Harden? Russell Westbrook. You know how many triple doubles that dude had? Exactly. He had a lot. I'm talking about the NBA but right now. MVP stands for <coughs> most valuable person to the team. James Harden took his team to the. He did so much for his team. Russell Westbrook put up crazy stats, but his team wasn't any good. Yeah, but the guy was also a jerk. He was, I don't like Russell Westbrook. He, I don't like James Harden either. He was the most valuable to his team. Yes, you're right. Your team also does have to do well. But it's the most valuable to your team. His team did Who well. Who takes your team there? Okay. Well, then if your team has something to do with it, then look who's around uh, uh, Westbrook. Look who he has. Nobody. Around. And that's why so many people were arguing. Whoa, whoa, was whoa, most whoa. Hold on. Nobody. Yeah. Who does he have on there? Exactly. Paul George. Paul George. Not PG-13. He didn't do a single thing. Paul George. Yeah, Paul George, he didn't... I'm he did some... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carmelo. Carmelo Anthony. No, he's a poison to any team. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, MVP. I'm saying Jared Goff might win the MVP. Okay, whatever. Go ahead. If, if he's consistently putting up 300, 400 yard games, three, four touchdowns a game... Are you you're gonna look at me in the face and say, as a second year player, you're not gonna win the MVP? No. Why not? He's not. Why not? Okay. There's better options no, no. out there. Here's an if. There then. are better here's options. An, here's an if then. There are better options. Here's an if then. You're gonna say Todd Gurley has better odds of winning MVP than Jared Goff, and they're on the same team. Maybe. No, for sure. Ma- no. One hundred percent. No. For sure. No. For sure. No. He doesn't. For sure. No. For sure. You can't look at me. <laughs> you can't look me in the eye and tell me that. For sure. No. I'm get you dead in the eye. No. Right for sure. You're going to tell me that yes, if Jared sure. Goff puts up 400 points a game, three, four, four touchdowns a game, maybe one on the ground, well, then he'll be he's a under, great game manager. 
He'll be unhuman. If no, he he's that. not. He's doing that now. It's week three, and he's done that consecutively. Yes, 300-yard game, three, four week. touchdowns. I think he even had 400 touchdowns or 400 yards last week. Yes, he did. Jared Goff's on MVP. Next topic. Okay, anyway, Next go topic. ahead with your MVP. Wow, we started this conversation a while ago. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we did. It's because uh, I'm talking to a brick wall right here. Fitzpatrick. There you go. Hot See? Take. Hot take. See, that's go. a hot take. Because <laughs> it's a hot Fitzpatrick take. is very valuable to his team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They'd be nothing without Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick is lighting it up. Do you understand? I think okay, that's just like... Like it could no. it could help out your MVP, but it doesn't like make or break it. I'm, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with George on this one. I like Fitzpatrick for it. Who's, why, why who's your MVP? Who, who'd always... you say your MVP Mahomes. was? Patrick Mahomes. Oh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Well, why? Why do you think Tom Brady has won it every year? Tom Brady has never had studs on his team. Gronkowski. Okay, who else? They've had like the they had the best team for like five years in a row. And it's they've had nobody. Good receivers. It's because of Tom Brady. Name one big name wide receiver. Uh, Other than I, Brandon Cooks, because he was there for uh, what one year, two years? No, uh, I can't think. Randy Moss? No, no, don't count Randy. Moss. Exactly. Um, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to remember the exactly. names. Exactly. No, I know. There's like exactly. three white dudes that are like amazing. Julian Edelman. Julian Edelman, yeah, yeah, yeah. You give him anywhere else, he's not going to be the same. He was nobody. Green Bay? Green Bay? He, he was nobody. Green Bay? No, no, no. He was nobody until that system. Brady was nobody. Exactly. Now look at him. Okay. He's MVP. He is an MVP. He That's my point. You can be a good. Time. You can be a good he's player coming from nothing. Of all time. I agree with you. But to, but, but, but just, is, just to say, are, how did they come from nothing mean anything? You said, who is he? I said he became good because he's on that team. Yeah, because of Brady Tom was Brady. nothing. No, Brady was nothing too. Brady was. He went six round. Okay. From Where, Michigan. I'm saying six Tom round from Brady Michigan is was your quarterback. Good turn, so you put in this rookie and he lights it up for what seven, sixteen years now. Yeah. He came from nothing. Now he's the greatest. Yeah. Okay. So I don't get what you're saying. I'm saying that it's okay if you if you come yeah. from nothing. You can yeah. still be a great player afterwards. Yes. But I'm saying Edelman is good. So Edelman was because, nothing and he's a great player yes, now. Because of Tom Brady. If he was stuck with Ryan Tannehill, whoever. He would be a target. He would be a consistent target. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. No, he would not. Yes, he would. No, he would not. Oh, my God. Well, I can't say it's all Tom Brady. It's oh also Belichick. God. But No. Oh my god! He probably wouldn't even have played if he was on any other team. He was undrafted. Nobody even knew who he was. You know how many guys Same were like Chris that? Chris Hogan, Victor Cruz was undrafted. He was a walk on. He did great things. Yeah. Okay. Because at the huh. time, Eli Manning was an MVP. Tom Brady was always an MVP. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so he helps out his team. Is what yes. I'm saying. Yes. Yes, but the point is, He's you can be a no-name team. player and continue to do great things. And be great. It doesn't matter what team you're on. I don't know what you're arguing. I'm arguing that you can be nothing and play great to be a good player. Yeah, you can. You know, it doesn't matter yeah, who's you around can. you. Sure, it matters who's around you. But just to say that because, oh, you're on Tom Brady's team, if you go to any other team, you're going to be bad. Green Bay? Minnesota? L.A. Rams? I promise you, if Tom Yeah. So he's a good player. Because Tom Brady made him a good No! Player. You're missing the point after all that. Anyway. Jesus. Alright. Hot take. Heisman hopeful. Uh, Should we just say Tua right now? Yeah. Just say Tua. Uh, what's that? It's hot take. So, mm. what's that? Uh, who's he from? Wisconsin? That running back? Jordan Taylor? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, anyway. He's... Fine, then I'll go Tua. Go Tua. I'll go Tua. Tua, that's what I'm saying. How can you not say Tua? Let me let me read you his four week his his uh four four game stats here. Because he's not even the definite starter. Still, he's, he's the definite starter. We're still quarterback. Nico. He, he hasn't even played a complete game yet. Fifty eight for eighty completions, that's seventy two point five percent. 